Guide, Holy Cross Student Ministry. Welcome back with me today. It is a rainy day today, so if that's what you hear in the background. Uh, we are back in Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff, and it's with permission of HarperCollins Christian Publishing that we get to do these devotions. Uh, today is Monday, April 12th, 2021, and today we're looking at devotion number 87. The title is this, No One is Going to Believe Any of Our Answers If We Don't Let Them Know That We Have Questions Too. And scripture today comes from John 11, verse 33. It says this, When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. And here's today's devotion. Most people of faith go through times of questioning when the foundation cracks and we brace ourselves waiting to see if the whole structure will fall. Maybe a college student gets challenged by a respected professor. Or perhaps you see the behavior of someone who has been saying their faith is important to them and we become so disappointed we might just walk away altogether. You don't always hear people voicing their uncertainties because the people up front who also appear to have it all together seem to have all the answers. But doubt finds each of us at different times and in different ways. Most of us are constantly surrounded by unanswered questions. We wonder whether our kids will make it through their battle with the addiction that they're fighting or what we'll find on the other side of a cancer diagnosis. We don't want someone else's answers and we don't need someone else's opinions because more opinions just create a lot more anxiety. What we really wanna know is that we're not alone. We wanna know that we're not fighting these battles by ourselves. We need to know someone else has endured nights of barely breathing and they kept waking up to new mornings. Over the years, I've learned the most compassionate response that we can give someone who isn't okay is, this must be really difficult, that plus a hug. It doesn't resolve their question or relieve their fear, but it reminds them that we're in this together. It reminds them that you see their pain and that they're not alone. It removes the sense of shame we feel when we struggle in secret, and it also uh, it removes any question of needing to pretend that we have the simple answer um, to a really complex issue. Just enter into the ambiguity with the hurting people around you. Admit that you don't know what they're feeling, but you do know that you're with them. They're not looking for a quick answer. They need a good friend. No one is going to believe any of our answers if we don't let them know that we have a couple questions ourselves. And the reflection question today is this, who around you needs a hug and a reminder that you're there, that you're with them? Um, someone I'm very close with uh, was hurt many, many years ago, many decades ago by someone uh, in the church and it, it caused her to not wanna go back. Um, and it's heartbreaking. Uh, we're human and we will make mistakes. The people in the front of the church are human and they will make mistakes. Um, but the person who doesn't make mistakes is the person who is leading them. And if we can see that there's going to be fault, there's going to be shortcomings and the people who are leading us, the teachers, the, the pastors, uh, any clergy members, we can also see that there's a graceful God on the other side of it who's there to forgive them just like he's there to forgive us. Um, and let's pray. God, we're so grateful um, for your, your amazing big love. We're so grateful um, that we don't have to fight these battles alone. We're so grateful that you, uh, that you have gone through um, the worst pain. You have endured the worst, uh, the worst sacrifice, um, God, and you came out on the other side of it. I know, God, that you sent your son Jesus to die for us, and um, I can't imagine the pain of losing your only child like that. Um, some of us have dealt with pain like that, um, God, so we know that you understand that pain. Um, God, I pray, Lord, that you would just be with each and every one of us and remind us um, deep down with just comfort and warmth, Lord, that we are not alone, that we do have a community surrounding us um, who are there to support us. And God, if we see someone hurting, help us not to avoid because it's easier. Um, God, help us to approach and just let them know, even if we don't have the right words to say, even if we don't have the perfect comforting response or, or all the answers, God, that we are just there. Uh, with them to help uh, to help comfort them and be there with them and sit with them um, to acknowledge that we see that they're going through something difficult and that they're not alone. Um, I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.